For years, the fortune of Newton, Iowa, depended on one company, Maytag. It's not often that anybody needs us Maytag repairmen. That's why we're the loneliest guys in town. That was usually a good thing. But in 2007, when Maytag's factory shut its doors, thousands of workers lost their jobs. Unemployment in the county doubled to 10% in just over a year. Today, things are looking up, thanks in large part to something close to the town's heart. Newton has had man a manufacturing base here for generations, and, and manufacturing skills are are transferable skills. Mark Parriott lost his job at Maytag in 2007. Now he works for TPI Composites, a company that makes giant blades for wind turbines. TPI and Trinity Structural Towers, which manufactures the towers, have provided hundreds of jobs to the community. It's the poster child of President Obama's economic plan at work. The nation that leads the world in creating new energy sources will be the nation that leads the 21st century global economy. America can be that nation. We made our first automatic washing machine in 1949. Leland Smith, a 40-year Maytag veteran, doesn't care what's being made, so long as it's made in Newton. I would have never have thought that we'd be making wind turbines here in Newton, but you do what you gotta do, and you, uh, that's uh, employment for our people, and it's a good business. But Newton's green-driven recovery is in doubt. These companies have gone and stepped up and hired up to 1,000 people between the two companies. And we want to keep those people employed. What worries the mayor is uncertainty over the Production Tax Credit, or PTC, which gives wind energy producers a tax break. The credit helps lower the cost of producing electricity, spurring demand for the product. That means good business for TPI. Last time the PTC expired in 2003, New wind power projects across the nation dropped 77%. When the PTC is allowed to expire or get close to expiration, we see a fall off in activity. And that's our concern right now because 2012 is shaping up as a very nice year for, for TPI, for the wind industry, for Newton, Iowa as a direct result, obviously. And 2013 is a huge question mark because the current PTC expires at the end of 2012. The Joint Committee on Taxation estimates that the credit adds up to over a billion dollars per year in incentives for the industry. The credit's direct impact on workers is unclear, though. But for the town of Newton, it all comes down to the jobs. This isn't a political issue. This is an economic issue for our country. Are we interested in good, high-paying manufacturing jobs or not? It's that simple. If you think that it makes sense to keep manufacturing jobs here, then you support the PTC. If you think it makes sense to continue to stay invested in fossils, as we refer to them around here, fossil fuels, don't support the PTC. And oh, by the way, you're going you're to lose tens of thousands of good high paying manufacturing jobs in the meantime. Take your pick. In Newton, Iowa, Jordan Malter, CNN Money.